Hello and welcome to another insightful episode where we delve into the fascinating world of psychology. Today we're setting sail on a voyage of discovery, charting the unexplored waters of the human psyche. Our quest? To decode the enigma and to diffuse the long-lasting tensions between the mind and the brain. Though they seem synonymous, these two represent separate aspects of what makes us unique. So what exactly are they? What roles do they play in our lives? And most importantly, how do they differ from each other? Over the course of this episode, we'll be uncovering the answers to these intriguing questions and more shedding light on the complex interplay between the mind, the brain and our everyday experiences. So buckle up, get cozy as we prepare to delve deep into the labyrinth of our consciousness, exploring the very essence of our being. Get ready for a journey into the depths of your own self. So welcome aboard. We begin by explaining the brain. The brain, a three-pound organ, is the command center of our body, a masterful creation of evolution. It's the core of our thoughts, emotions, memories, and even the very consciousness that makes us unique. Imagine a bustling city with millions of citizens moving about, communicating, working, playing, and living their lives. That's the brain, a city of neurons, a network of about 100 billion nerve cells intricately connected. Each neuron, a citizen of this city, communicates with others, sending messages through an elaborate system of neural pathways. It's this intricate web of connections that enables everything we think, feel, and do. Now let's take a tour of this city. The brain can be divided into three main regions, the forebrain, the midbrain, and the hindbrain, each with its unique roles and functions. The forebrain, the largest part, is the CEO of the brain city. It includes the cerebral cortex and other structures like the thalamus and hypothalamus. It's responsible for things like thinking, perceiving, producing, and understanding language and controlling motor functions. The midbrain, the city's communication hub, controls many important functions such as the visual and auditory systems, and also plays a key role in alertness and temperature regulation. The hindbrain, the city's infrastructure department, controls the body's vital functions such as respiration, heart rate, and blood pressure. It also plays a role in maintaining balance and coordination. But the brain isn't just about cold, hard facts and figures. It's a living, breathing organ that changes and adapts. It's constantly rewiring itself, forming new connections and pruning away the old and unused ones. This capacity, known as neuroplasticity, is what allows us to learn new skills, form memories and recover from brain injuries. A marvel of nature, the brain is the physical powerhouse that keeps us ticking. It's a testament to the incredible complexity and adaptability of life. And remember, this is just the tip of the iceberg. There's so much more to explore, to discover, to understand about this phenomenal organ. So let's keep going. Now let's shift our focus to the mind, an abstract entity with immense power. The mind, as you might know, is not something we can touch or see, but it's as real as the air we breathe. This non-physical part of us is home to our thoughts, feelings, consciousness and perception. It's the ethereal workshop where all our ideas are forged and where all our emotions are felt. It's the unseen artist behind the canvas of our reality. Imagine for a moment the mind is a vast, uncharted territory. It's like an ocean, deep and teeming with life. Each thought is a ripple on its surface, each feeling a current beneath. Our consciousness? That's the sunlight illuminating the upper layers, but leaving much in the deep still a mystery. Now, let's talk about perception. Perception is the mind's looking glass. It's how we interpret the world around us, how we make sense of what our senses tell us. It's what makes a sunset beautiful, a song touching, or a smell nostalgic. Our perceptions, shaped by our thoughts and feelings, create our personal reality, our subjective experience of the world. But where does the mind exist? Some argue it's in the brain, others say it's part of the soul or spirit. Honestly, we don't know for sure. But what we do know is that the mind, with its thoughts, feelings, consciousness and perceptions, plays a crucial role in our existence. It's the captain of our ship, guiding us through the rough seas of life. And here's the most fascinating part. The mind, this intangible entity, holds immense power. It can create joy or sorrow, peace or turmoil, love or hate. It can heal or harm, inspire or discourage. It has the power to shape our reality, to determine our experience of life. The mind, an intangible powerhouse, is the essence of our consciousness and individuality. The mind is us. It's our thoughts, our feelings, our hopes, our fears. It's our past, our present and our future. It's what makes us unique, what makes us human. So let's cherish it, nurture it, and use it wisely. Now that we have a basic understanding of both the brain and the mind, it's time to differentiate between the two. And again, let's start with the brain, our body's control center. It's a tangible, physical entity made up of around 86 billion neurons, 
It's a complex, well-oiled machine responsible for everything from controlling our body temperature to allowing us to solve complex mathematical equations. The brain is the hub, the hardware if you will, that processes information from our senses, triggering reactions and responses. On the other hand, we have the mind, an abstract entity, that is often considered the software running on the brain's hardware. It's intangible, yet undeniably powerful. It's responsible for our thoughts, emotions and consciousness. The mind is the realm of the subjective experience, the seat of perceptions and the home of our identity. Now it's easy to think of the brain and the mind as separate entities, but they are intricately intertwined. The brain is the physical vessel that houses the mind, and the mind in turn influences the brain. Consider this. When we learn something new, our mind is absorbing and processing information right. But did you know that this mental activity actually changes the physical structure of the brain? That's right. The neurons in our brain form new connections and pathways. This process is known as neuroplasticity, and it's a perfect example of the mind and brain working hand in hand. Similarly, when we experience strong emotions, our mind is reacting to a situation or event. But these emotional responses also trigger physical changes in the brain. Chemicals like dopamine and serotonin are released, altering our mood and even our behavior. So while the brain and the mind may have their unique roles, they are far from independent. They influence and shape each other in a dynamic interplay, a dance of sorts that defines our human experience. The brain with its tangible neural networks and the mind with its intangible thoughts and emotions together make us who we are. They allow us to perceive the world, to learn and grow, to feel and express, to ponder and create. In a nutshell, the brain is the physical manifestation of our mental capacities, while the mind is the abstract manifestation of our consciousness and self-awareness. They are two sides of the same coin, each vital and indispensable in their own right. While it's tempting to delve into the age-old debate of whether the mind controls the brain or the brain controls the mind, it's perhaps more accurate to say that they are partners, working in harmony, each contributing to the symphony of our existence. While the brain and the mind are intrinsically linked, they are distinct entities with their respective roles and functions. As we wrap up this intriguing journey, it's clear that the mind and the brain, while intertwined, offer their unique contributions to our existence. They are two sides of the same coin, each with their distinct characteristics and functions. The brain, a tangible mass of nerve cells and intricate connections, acts as the command center for our physical actions and reactions. It's the tangible component that keeps us alive and functioning. On the other hand, we have the mind, an abstract entity that oversees our thoughts, emotions, consciousness, and imagination. It's the intangible part of us that makes us who we are, shaping our personality, our beliefs, and our dreams. The mind is the architect of our subjective experiences, sculpting our perception of the world around us. Throughout this journey, we've discovered that while the brain and the mind are interconnected, they are not one and the same. Recognizing this difference is fundamental to understanding ourselves better. It's like understanding the difference between the paintbrush and the masterpiece it creates. The brain is the tool, the physical medium, while the mind is the artist, the creative force that uses the tool to paint the canvas of our life. In understanding this, we unlock the potential to explore our minds and brains more deeply. We can begin to appreciate the complexity of our thoughts, the depth of our emotions and the intricacies of our actions. We can start to comprehend why we behave the way we do, why we feel the way we feel and why we think the way we think. So let's continue this exploration outside this video. Let's prolong into the recesses of our minds and the intricate workings of our brains. After all, the better we understand these two entities, the better we understand ourselves, our motivations, our fears, and our desires. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey. Remember, understanding the mind and the brain is a step towards understanding ourselves. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Catch you in the next one.